Hello awesome professionals. Welcome to VMware Questionnaire Based Learning Forum. Here goes our question number 18. An administrator sees the following error in the log files. Lost access to volume SAN LUN 101 due to connectivity issues. Which two events could be the source of the error message? Choose two options. And your options are option A, vCenter server failure, B, VXLAN failure, C, disk array failure, D, network failure, and E, ESXi failure. And the answer is C, disk array failure, and option D, network failure. Let's understand the reason why. Now, if you look at this particular diagram, we have two ESXi hosts connected to a centralized device, storage device called LUN. And there are a couple of VMs running on each of the ESXi host. Now, as you could see, when, when there is a communication issue between your ESXi host and the storage device called LUN, all path down events get triggered. And if your storage device or LUN itself is not accessible, the event which gets triggered is called PDL or permanent device loss. So let's understand what EPD or all path down is. EPD situation occurs when all the path to a device are down. Since there is no indication whether device is permanently or temporary loss, ESXi keep re-attempting to establish network connectivity. EPD commonly occurs due to underlying storage or network -ish connectivity issues and host still believes device is available. PDL permanent device loss situation occurs when the storage device is permanently inaccessible to ESXi host and host is no longer attempts to re-establish connectivity issue. In PDL state, SCSI sense code locked by storage device is used by ESXi host to recognize device inaccessibility. So let's review the options again. Option A, vCenter server failure, B, VXLAN failure and E, ESXi failure. None of these failure trigger events which causes inaccessibility issues to a storage device or LUN. C, disk array failure is considered as PDA triggers PDL, whereas network failure triggers APD events. So certainly the answer is C and D. Here goes our question number 19. A vSphere administrator wants to reserve 0.5 Gbps network bandwidth for virtual machine traffic on each uplink of distributed switch that has 10 uplinks. What is the quota that should be reserved for the network resource pool? And your options are A, 10 Gbps, B, 5 Gbps, C, 100 Gbps, and D, 0 0.5 Gbps. Share your answers in comment section or watch out our next video to know the answer. Please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, GoVM Lab, for more questionnaire-based learning. Thank you.